Hello Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome to your reading. As we do, we're going to be looking at the energies that are currently around you at this moment in time. So we're going to be first of all be getting our Oracle card to see what is coming up. And for you, the Divine is saying that for some of you, you're currently feeling that you're stuck at a crossroad. You're making some important life decisions. Some of you, there's a sense of confusion about which direction you need to go on. And so the divine is saying to you, just allow yourself to be where you are. Just allow yourself to accept where you are. Same thing. Because there could just be a sense of feeling not only confused, but feeling frustrated. Because you feel that you should have accomplished this, that and the other by now. There's a sense of feeling disappointed, maybe in the direction that your life is going in. And the divine is saying where you are right now is the perfect place, is the place where you need to be. So just take time and allow yourself to be at the crossroad. Just take time and accept that when it is the right time, you will receive divine information that will not only assist you in which direction to go in, but also allow you to choose the path that is going to lead to a lot of blessings a lot faster. Because what I'm seeing is the sense of frustration that I can feel will make you decide, you know what, I'm just going to choose one. And you take a route that is going to be full of twists and turns because you're trying to run away from the discomfort of being in limbo, of feeling stuck. But the divine is saying when you allow yourself to just be here in the present moment, the light, the answers will come. And suddenly you know exactly which route to choose. And that route is going to be full of blessings, is going to be full of inspired moments. So don't run away, but I rather accept. And through that acceptance, there's a sense of just all these burdens, all these judgments just falling away. And as all those burdens and judgments fall away, this is when you can start to feel and think clearly about which direction you need to go in. Okay, so whatever it is that you're currently going on or you're currently going through, it is not going to last forever. It is just a moment in time and a moment in time. That's all it is. For some of you, there's a feeling where you have to make some important life decisions. Make those life decisions. But again, it is important not to rush into anything. Just feel, think, just be present. And through that, connect with your guides and your ancestors and ask for divine wisdom about which direction you need to go on. Okay, so the oracle cards that we are getting for you the divine love it absolutely. The divine is saying at the right time, you will feel inspired. And this is when suddenly you will know exactly what action you need to take, what direction you need to go in. But when you're feeling confused, when you're feeling deflated, when you're feeling overwhelmed, bent out, exhausted, that is not the time to be making decisions. But when you feel inspired, this is the time when you know exactly what you need to do and how you need to do it, what actions you need to you need to take. So I really love that you have that card that is saying to you, okay, right now, it is okay to be where you are. And at the right time, boom, suddenly epiphany, suddenly inspired words inspired action the fire within you will just start burning and through that you know that okay it is time for me to act the next card that we have you have the card which is saying to you that for some of you you're dealing with people who repeat the same mistakes over and over again and this is part of why you are feeling confused this is part of why you are feeling lost the divine is saying that now it is time for you to focus on where you need to go Rather than keep on allowing people to derail you off your path, to come and to confuse you about the decisions that you're making. So the divine is saying that there's just someone who is going to be coming in and this person will be begging, will be pleading, will be trying to, you know, get a second, third chance. You've already made a decision. Stick to the decision that you've made, especially after 
you've received that inspired action about what it is that you need to do. When you start taking those steps, suddenly someone comes in and says, hey, you know what? Please consider this. Please consider that. But you've already made a decision. So be aware of people who are going to be coming in and trying to bring that sense of confusion back. When they bring that sense of confusion back, I don't know why I can't even say that word. When they bring that sense of confusion back, this is when you start doubting. This is when you start feeling confused again. And the inspiration, the fire will just completely die. The fire, the drive will just completely dissipate and disappear. And now you're like, what shall I do again? What, 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 what? Mm -mm. You've waited. You've said your prayer. You've listened. And at the right time, you have the epiphany. You have intuitive hint. Now you're ready to strike. And in that moment, suddenly, someone comes in and says, hey, wait a minute. Please don't take that action. Don't strike. Listen, hear me out. And now you put your sword down. And now you're starting to feel confused again. And you go back to being at the crossroad. Because when we see the swords in our oracle cards, this is a sword of truth. So there's going to be a truth that comes in that now you can see clearly exactly what it is that you need to do. Now you can see clearly the path that you need to take. And again, someone will come in and they'll bring a sense of confusion. And now you are second guessing. You are getting, you know, you're getting all twisted and confused. Stay away. Okay, let's get another Oracle card and see what else is coming up. So the next Oracle card that is coming up for you, this is the last Oracle card we're going to be looking at and we are going to be moving over to our Tarot cards. So there you go. There's emotional manipulation that is going to be at play. Okay, once you've made a choice, once you've made a decision and you're ready to go, Suddenly, someone tries to come in and to not only bring confusion, to try and manipulate you, to try and make you feel that maybe you are making the wrong decisions. But remember, you took your time. You got comfortable in the discomfort. You allowed yourself to be where you are at this present moment in time. And at the right time, you felt inspired to take inspired action and someone will come back and they'll try to derail you. They'll try to keep you confused because the more you stay confused, the more they can benefit from you being in a situation where you don't know exactly what you need to do. The more you can stay confused, the more you are disempowered, the more you are feeling deflated, depressed, the more you are just feeling like frustrated, and this person will keep on taking advantage of that. So be aware of the person who tries to emotionally manipulate you to stay in situations because they'll say everything and anything that you need to hear. You've got that foxy type of deceptive energy that is there. You've got an energy that is bringing a lot of lies. So again, be careful. Absolutely. So as we are going to be getting our Oracle cards back on the table we're now going to be bringing over our tarot cards to see what else is coming up and you know as usual i always let you know what i'm currently working on at the moment so we have our lion gate portal that is going to be happening on the 8th of august and you know the lion gate portal is a powerful time a really powerful time where you could actually be seeing that this is the time where you start getting clarity. This is the time where you start getting a lot of divine information because the Lion Gate portal, the veils are very thin between the other side, between this realm and the other realm. So you're able to really peer onto the other side and receive divine instructions. So I want you to really do your meditations, do your prayers when it comes to that day. Allowing yourself to just be in the moment, communicating with your guides and your ancestors, asking for divine inspiration, asking for the divine to help you, assist you, and also, of course, bless you, because the Lion Gate portal is all about blessings. Amen to that. Okay, we're stepping into the energy of Leo, 
when it is time for you to be seen, when it is time for you to shine bright, when it is time for you to be heard. So in the Lion Gate portal, I've got two offerings that I'm currently working on at the moment. And again, this are still linked to uh, the TikToks that I'm doing. So we've got our honey jar ceremony and our honey jar ceremony. We are calling in the sweet things in the life, the blessings in life. And again, I've really made all the prices as reasonable as they can be. The honey jar themselves are just 11 11 so that you're able to make your wishes known you're able to sweeten your situation and you're able to you know i'm able to do the prayers that i need to do and everything else that i need to do we're still doing the spiritual cleanses either live on tiktok or you can choose to have your own private spiritual cleanse done so everything that you need to know about the honey jazz ceremony on the 888 the lion gate portal everything is linked in the description box below so i'm really excited to be working with you so as we're looking at our tarot cards on the table, you have just that one card that we spoke about. The sun card is a major arcana card. It literally is time for you to shine bright after a sense of feeling confused, after a sense of feeling like you just feel that you don't know what you need to do next. It almost feels like all is lost and then suddenly you realize that actually it was just a moment in time. It was that time where you needed to take your time to consider your life decisions before you made a choice. And so the sun card is saying to you that inspired action is going to be leading to the celebration that you can see. When you see sunflowers, this is good. Sunflowers is about being visible, is about abundance, is about blessings. Have you seen how many seeds that on a sunflower, so there's a lot of abundance and blessings that are coming to you connected to the inspired action that you're going to be taking. There is a lot of light that I've already spoken about that is going to be coming in. So a lot of healing energies are on the cards for you. So wherever you are right now, even though you might be feeling confused about your money, even though you might just be feeling confused about which direction you need to take, the divine is saying again, just take your time. There's no need for you to rush. At the right time, okay, as if by magic, you're going to finally understand the action that you need to take. You're going to know exactly what you need to do. So sit again in the discomfort and allow yourself to listen to divine inspiration. Don't allow yourself to feel so uncomfortable that you just go in any direction and you find yourself bringing yourself even more confusion when you could have just waited and waited. So for some of you, there's a confusion maybe around your money. Okay, you could just be experiencing a lot of debt. You could be in the red. Maybe you invested your money and your money is currently just going down, down, down. And there's a sense of confusion and you could feel like you need to make a right rush decision right now. You just need to do something. But again, the advice is wait. Take your time. You are currently not thinking clearly. Don't allow your emotions to judge your, to cloud your judgment. Don't allow your emotions to get in the way. It is very uncomfortable when you're in the red. It is like your uh, your root chakra, your, your security, your stability is currently in question. And you could be rushing to make that decision because you're feeling so uncomfortable. But remember what I told you at the beginning of the read, reading, be comfortable with the discomfort. It doesn't matter what you are experiencing in your life, whether this situation is connected to your money, whether it is maybe connected to your health, maybe it is connected to your home situation, the divine is saying, sit in the discomfort. This is not the right time to make any rush decision, especially because right now we have a Mercury in retrograde. So definitely this is not the right time to be making any rush decisions. We spoke about emotional manipulation that is here. And as you can see, our tarot card is repeating the same message. There is just something that is happening that has you feeling confused emotionally, that has you feeling like you don't know exactly which direction to go into. 
But again, you've got that sort of truth that is here. And so allow that sort of truth to lead you, to guide you. Don't allow your emotions to cloud your judgment because the energies of the swords are about words. So there just could be that someone, okay, who's very deceptive, who is very foxy. They'll do anything that they need to do to keep you feeling like this. Because I told you, the more you feel like this, the more they benefit. And so again, our tarot card is revealing exactly what we have already spoken about. When you receive that sort of truth, as we saw with your oracle card, when you receive that sort of truth, you know exactly what you need to do. Don't give that sword back and say, oh, no, 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 no. I'm confused again. I don't know what to do. Just because someone has tried and succeeded at manipulating you emotionally, that sort of truth, you know what to do. Take action. Okay. There's just a sense of just feeling some type of discomfort in the next couple of maybe weeks, days. Don't let that discomfort make you turn back and go back. To a situation that you're trying to leave behind so when we're talking about the repeat offender energy that is here you can see that it's a childish type of energy that is there the pages are children they're like teenagers and so they just could be that person who has no clue about what it is that they need to do they act on their impulses they don't think and after they've taken action they come back and they say they're sorry they make all types of promises and when you allow them back into your life into your home into your heart you only find yourself repeating the same cycles over and over again the question is are you tired yet or are you ready for another round are you ready to waste another year two five ten twenty who knows so the message is loud and clear and always, I always remind you that this is your human experience. So it is up to you to take the action that you need to take. It is up to you to take the action that feels right to you. So on that note, this is the reading that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'm going to see you over on TikTok where we are going to be doing our honey jar, candle magic ceremonies and also our cleanses. So again, everything that you need to know is linked in the description box below. I'm going to see you very soon. It is a goodbye from me.